system which not even pilots knew about until MH370, which is that although he turned off all these systems he could turn off, there's, there's one which emits via satellite data from engine performance. And the way it works is that, in this case, about every hour, there's a satellite handshake. The aircraft will send a signal to the satellite with data on it, and the satellite will respond, but then transfer that data to a ground station. In this case, it was actually in Perth in Western Australia. Every hour MH370 is flying, satellites pick up an automated ping from the engines. So the plane is clocked until one final handshake, what's known as the seventh arc. That seventh handshake produced a band, known, which is an arc, and that's where the science suggests the aircraft would be somewhere on that arc, but we don't know where on the arc. Data stopped as the plane crossed the seventh arc, which means that's where MH370 ended its journey. The wreckage is somewhere in the southern Indian Ocean. And as we'll soon reveal, a potential crash site has finally been discovered.